All right, my beautiful friends, here we are. It is Monday, March 30th, 2020. Just a lovely day. Just a lovely day. The beginning of a beautiful week. <laughs> Let's talk here. I don't know how many of you were following stock futures last night, um, but with regard to Dow futures, we were down almost 500 points at one time. Right now, Dow futures are pointing towards a higher open. Oh yeah, it's a 5.57 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's a bizarre market. We know who's buying everything. We know who's buying the world. It's that simple. Uh, market has no bearing on reality. There's no price discovery mechanism behind it whatsoever. It is 100% being driven by the Federal Reserve. Um, but that's okay. Because I want to put a few things together here for you. Number one. Let's talk about Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs put out a statement over the weekend that this market has not yet bottomed out. Goldman Sachs is saying be ready for more losses. And on Friday, I explained to you that this market is setting up right now in the same way it did prior to the beginning of this whole market drop. Um, so that's something we need to keep an eye on. No, number two or three or whatever, I'm losing my place here. Uh, crude oil is cratering and that 10-year yield is dropping. It's going to be very hard for, for this market to, to gain here. But in this environment, we know, look, I don't care what they're saying. The Fed is not just buying exchange-traded funds for which they've admitted. The Fed is buying large-cap stocks, period. Um, they're not ready to pull the plug on this market just yet, but I don't think they have enough firepower, honestly, even though Yellowstein himself says they have, uh, have unlimited power. I don't think they have enough. The, the, the hole in this market, overall, the, the global economy, the, the debt market is too big. It's, it's in the quadrillions if you add in dollar derivatives. So I don't think that $2 trillion stimulus, it's, it's a joke, it's going to help. Uh, or or unlimited funds to buy assets, to buy the market, to buy the world, to funnel cash to other central banks around the world, to buy assets. I don't think it's enough. I really don't. So we're going to need to keep our eye on this uh, moving forward. But again, if you're going to look at one thing in this market, it's not the stock market. Look at the 10-year yield. Continues to crater. The yield curve flattening out, dropping. I mean, I don't know what else there is to say here. Uh... The bond market is the key to this entire charade that is going on. You know why it's a charade? This market should be half of what it is right now, but there's a lot of effort to prop it up uh, for, what, for whatever reason. And you got, again, fund managers telling you, buy stocks, but then the Wall Street mega banks are saying the bottom's not in. Uh, any specific fund manager telling you to buy stocks here, to buy into weakness, is brain dead. And they have no business being a fund manager. You never, never buy into weakness. All right, with that said, I'm going to let you all go. As most of you know already, and I'm really excited about this, uh, I'm going to be submitting articles on a regular basis now, because I heard from Joe Salente again for the Trends Journal. I already submitted an article, which will be... I'm assuming in their next trends journal. So um, I'm looking forward to that. And number two, my newsletter. Um, sign up for it. Uh, get in on it. There is a link in the description of this video. Uh, I'm going to be sending out trade alerts based on rules based trading. Um, so you'll get these alerts directly in your email box at at the most opportune time to capitalize on this market. Now, these are not for intraday trades. These uh, trade alerts are going to be more for positions we're going to hold from days to a couple of weeks. So um, I'm really excited about that too. I told you, we're not going to lose. There is no way. And what are we going to do? We're going to take the opposite side of this debt explosion extravaganza uh, that's going on and we're going to hold hard assets. We're going to at least I am going to hold cryptocurrencies for which cryptos are catching a nice bid uh, as I am doing this video blog. All right, people, that's it. Keep your eye on that 10-year yield, period, the end. Crude oil is cratering. 
stock futures were pointing towards a higher open. Let's see. Let me give you a live update here. Live update. Yeah, triple digit gain at the open. <laughs> well, let's see how that works out the rest of the day. This is an incredible thing to watch. What a phenomenon. Love you all. Please share this and uh, I'll see you at the end of the lovely day.